All right, guys, welcome back. This is episode 61 of the Road to the Top series. I am Toasty FM, and we're struggling. I mean, I mean, if you look at the schedule, you know we had tough games. We 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 lost the likes of po uh, Sporting and Porto. Uh, it's Sport against Sporting. We were up one nil, up one nil. Um, disappointed not to get the result there. Uh, I thought we had it. I thought we had. You know, we have the early goal, and they're just, they're just a, too good of a team. These teams, they have the money, they have the players that we can't, we can't just can't compete with. Um, we beat Tondela, uh, you know, easily in the cup. Um, and we came back against Porto. Again, this game, uh, I thought we were kind of coming back into it. I mean, they um, they scored early. We equalized through uh, Nun Correa, and, and then they scored in the late equalizer. I thought um, Chaming, Chamanga got the start because... Um, Costa is on loan from Porto, so he's ineligible. Uh, and, and Shimanga got, got the first, he got the first, uh, first block, but parried it, um, you know, back into the feet of Andre Gomes, and Andre Gomes, um, the former Benfica man, uh, scored it from close range. And, um, but I, again, I, th I think considering the teams we're playing with, I think those were, those weren't bad games. It was just, Tough games. It was always going to be an uphill battle to win those. Like I say, every time we lose. Um, so and so, the table itself is kind of starting to look the way we would expect it to. I mean, Sporting's on top. They're having. They're they're kind of running away. But they haven't lost. Um, you know, Fedanch is kind of the surprise. But Vitoria Game Drawings, they're a good team. They should have be up there. Uh, Porto are up there. Uh, Hiwav are a good team. They should be near the top. Uh, Benfica are, are starting to catch up after their early uh, hiccups early in the season. Braga's still in the middle of the table, but they'll definitely get back there. They have time. Um, so the, so the, the kind of lead we had above the table is slowly shrinking. Um, you know, so – and again, we have, we, have, we have Benfica today, so it's going to be uh, still tough. It's, it, we're, not, it's not, we're not slowing down whatsoever – uh, so we're just going to have to, you know, keep hoping we can get some results. Uh, so let's look at the lineup for, for today's game. All right, guys, so this is going to be a lineup today. Um, I kind of put what we've been playing with. Um, oh, I forgot to announce, I forgot to talk about one thing. Um, our star man up top, Guillen Perez, is out for half a year. Um, Nintendinitis, uh, and so, yeah, he's, so Nun Correa is our man right there. That's why he scored in that one game. Because, but it's probably not going to be out until, I mean, if he makes it back this season, it's going to be, it's going to be close. He's going to be back for the last couple games of the season. So very unfortunate for him. Um, but this is the team. Uh, Brando's getting to start out right back. He's been, um, he came to me wanting a little more playing time. Him and Patrick, Patrick hasn't been showing me anything extraordinary so uh, i'm giving breno the start today uh jambor uh has been playing well uh i mean um silla has been up and down so we're gonna give jambor the start today um see how he plays in that in that spot and uh everybody else is pretty much the same um fernandino still not back so uh cavallini and cavallini's been playing well he's I mean, he has that, what is it, like 16, 15, 16 crossing, and he's definitely using it uh, with his 16 crossing, 15 pace. He's getting onto that, uh, onto the byline and putting some great crosses in. So he's, def he's been getting some assists, as you can see. Um, so he's been one of our better players. He's definitely performing well um, in the last few games against um, against the big three. Um, well, at least Sporting and, and Porto. We're going to see how he plays today. Um, but that's gonna be our lineup for today. A um, couple injuries, as you can see. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough to, to not have a, a player like Perez. Um, not even just out for you know a while, but to be out for so long. Um, they um, they're matching up well against us today, uh, as it seems. It's gonna be a midfield battle. Looks like they're gonna have they have two uh, number eights, uh, number six behind them. So they're gonna have a man to cover. Um, uh, Gaudel Almeida specifically, uh, but we're going to be playing on the counter, so, and they're not playing a very attacking formation, so, um, I think we'll be fine if we don't, it look, as long as we don't give off, off an early goal, um, ooh, which is close there, uh, Calvo there, um, 
their young striker, I believe, who's on loan from Barcelona. Um, I guess he's been uh, their star player up top this season, so we have to watch out for him. Um, let me get a drink of water. Played a little footy this morning. So, um, and there you see Calvo again coming up the field. We really have to, um, we really have to make sure he doesn't uh, get away from us. Um, you know, Unite, you, I, you probably won't recognize him. He's, um, he's a regen, uh, Esmel Calvo, I believe. Um, we could look at, take a look at him at the end of the, at the end of the game if people might want to take a look at him. Um, but, uh, Oh, that's unfortunate, man. Right, is Jardel gonna get the Jardel's gonna get the gonna claim it? But um, we have the bulk possession, bulk bulk of the possession. I, I don't think they're they're confident on on the ball. I don't think, but um, I don't know. Let's uh let's look at the goal. Now, in from a corner. I mean, just a sloppy goal. Um, you know, Martin, uh, I mean, it, it was gonna be close. Uh, but Jardel's the one that gets the touch. Um, great Jardel, apparently. Um, so we have a highlight here. Maybe I have a highlight here. Or it may not be a damn thing. Um, it looks like they're coming back into a shell. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, we have a bulk of the possession, but I don't want to rely on that completely. Um, because there are a team. I mean, I'm sure they have players that are that are fast and that could really exploit us if we're not... If we're not ready, uh, come on. Ugh, come on, guys. I picked somebody else to pick that up. Uh, Jean Carval, uh, the young stud for Benfica, comes up, and he takes a shot from deep. Um, yeah, we have to go a little more attacking, I think. Um, as we, like, as I said, they, it seems like they're the, they want us to have uh, the ball. They're playing very, um, you know, Chelsea, Mourinho-esque under Chelsea, um, kind of defensive, get, get you on the counter. Type of football um, up top uh, does doesn't seem like Correa is doing much at all. Um, there seems to not be really anybody kind of connecting play um, at all. I mean, the midfield seems to be doing fine, um, but uh, you know there seems to be some kind of disconnect. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, because they, their formation does match up so well against us, we might have to kind of. Because let's see, there. Let's look at the formation. Because they have. Because they have Rodriguez in there, who's basically covering Gabriel Almeida by himself. It seems. And they, but they have the. The wingers up, so you may have to. Hmm, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get a little tactical here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do. Let's take out uh, Jambor, put it Silla, get him in there on defend. I want to overload. Hmm. I need to be careful. I need to be careful with what I do here, actually. Um, Cause I want to bring people. I want to bring us in tighter. Overload that player in there. So we're gonna have to do something like. Okay, let's hmm. Let's do that. We're gonna get we're gonna get a little bit wonky in there, I think. Uh, Sandro Oliveira. Let's make him a trick artista. That'd be kind of nice, actually. A little, little, little something that actually. Uh, let's then let's keep like that. Uh, advanced pick pick support box to box. Have him come deep. Actually, just have him a, a classic center mid. Um, on uh, on support actually. Um. Here and that in there, Cavallini. What do you want to do in there? Um, advanced forward, maybe poacher. Defensive forward. I say I'm making a defensive forward. Let's have him just running around in there, causing problems. How does that look? 
It looks absolutely disgusting, actually. But uh, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, let's put our full fullbacks. Let's make them wingbacks. Uh, put them on up there. Uh, wingback on automatic. So we have Scylla in there protecting these guys up on the wing. Um, let's look for overlap. Um, exploit the middle. Narrow. Fairly narrow. Let's see how that works for a little bit. Um, we're going to get to tinkering here, guys. Because um, they seem to... I mean, I don't think they're... They're going to come out of their shell a little bit. But we're going to have to come maybe a little bit deeper... Actually, we are fairly deep at the moment, but let's just go deeper like that and uh, see if we can cause a couple problems in there, um, possibly. If I if this works, I will be taking all the credit. I just want everybody to know that. Um, we've got our first shot off, and we've got half chance. Oh, we're definitely coming into the game now, for sure. Um, we actually got our few shots. We had nothing up until, like, ten minutes ago. Oh, that's gonna put a hamper in our, in our game plan. Let's see what happens after this, after this highlight. Oh, come on, get that out. Oh, every, it just goes through everybody. And Jadavil gets a second of the game, the center back. Ah, oh, man, come on. I just, I, I mean, I feel like... What's like everybody? Come on, man! Every there's at least there's uh nine guys in there and the goalkeeper who, who were just like standing around. That's disappointing. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's put on Barbosa there. Ah oh, man. Ah. Uh. I mean, we have to go. Alright, actually, maybe let's go wide. Get that wide. Um, pump balls into the box, I think, maybe. Exploit the flanks. Look for overlap. Let's do something like that, I guess. I don't know. We have about 15 minutes left. Um... To do something or other. Come on, guys. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, guys. Um, this might be the last highlight of the game, but either way, we either lose 2 0. 3-0 or 2-1, and we've had already, we've lost uh, Sp uh, Sporting and Porto 2-1, so maybe that's just the, the level of result, the result we're going to have, I guess, maybe. Uh, Durso Oliveira, about 20 seconds left here to do something, just to not, you know, get a goal back. Um, we seem to be fine with just holding around in the midfield, and um, Granit Xhaka, apparently, in their midfield. Uh, Enriquez on the left, and that is it. Um, we never really got into that game, guys. I mean, really. Oh, that didn't look like they liked that. Yeah, we never really got into that game. They seemed to have control the entire time. Um, even though we had the ball for the bulk of it, we just never did anything with it. Um, so let's, let's look at the upcoming schedule for uh, next episode. All right, guys. So uh, we're still looking for our uh, our first win after those first uh, three wins, guys. Or in the league, at least. Um, we've lost a lot, but I mean, we have to. I mean, we have to make you know, we have to you know, put the brakes on and say, hey, you know, these are good teams. Um, you know, Fedens are near, these are top four teams probably at the end of the year. I mean, Fedens is second. They're having a great season. Sporting, Porto, Benfica. These are world class teams. Um, so if we look at that, I mean, past Fedo we lost two. That was a mistake. Two own goals. Uh, and we had a player sent off. So, you know, in context, we have to continue to play, uh, continue to, to hold on to what we have here and make sure 
you know, it doesn't become anything more because the other two results are are, are draws. Um, so where we, I mean, we had the lead in this one. I mean, we're this is we're in a good we're a good team. We're a mid table team. Um, this is just a bumper road. We have we have games um, coming up um, where we ha- where we can where we can you know come back into uh, into ourselves. Now we're gonna have uh, Sporting in the Tas Liga, Braga coming up as well. But we have a Shabs coming up, and we're to come back tomorrow against Bill Nance. And I think we can definitely um, play well in that game for sure, guys. So uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Come back tomorrow. See if we can, uh, you know, start playing uh, playing well again. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe, like I said. And oh, crap. And uh, take care of yourselves.